Here in South Africa's KwaZulu-Natal province, the Umgeni River Bird Park recently said hello to an exciting new arrival, a black cast wattled hornbill chick. These birds are notoriously hard to breed in captivity, and with wild populations increasingly threatened by habitat destruction, they could use some help from their captive kin. Found in the humid evergreen forests of Central and West Africa, these unusual-looking birds typically nest in the treetops, so little is known about their reproductive habits. It's taken a couple of years, a couple of years of research, uh, trying different methods, different, uh, different diets, trying to see what works. <laughs> In the wild, it's believed that females of the species ramp up their protein intake before breeding season. What has been the norm in the past is that we increase and decrease the, the protein levels during different times of the year, breeding season, not breeding season. The last two years, I kind of decided, OK, let's try and not drop the, the protein levels. It seemed to work. It seemed to kick them into their breeding mode. And then last year, they suddenly became very, very aggressive and I just suddenly knew that they were going to breed. And within that week, they had sealed up that nest she was in and he was going backwards and forwards bringing her food. Black cast wattled hornbills have a poor track record when it comes to captive breeding. Of the recorded 21 chicks that were born in parks and sanctuaries throughout the world last year, only eight survived. So even now she's in the critical phase because she hasn't even been at the nest for a month. Despite the team's best efforts to continually monitor the chick's progress in the nest, gaining access proved a bit tricky. We've got peepholes in all the nests which enable us to, you know, just to check what's going on. But she just outsmarted us on that one. She just sealed that up as well. So we were like, oh dear, now what do we do? There are plans to install a camera inside the nest during the next breeding cycle to gain better insight into how these birds incubate their eggs and care for their young. I think all the information that we've gotten in the last two years is, is very important. So we can add that to that world database. Sharing of information is very, very important. I think, you know, to be able to, to save these animals and make sure we have these species in the future. The data captured by the team will be documented in a new research paper, and this vital intel will hopefully lead to other successful captive breeding projects in the future.